Hello everyone, I am Hoddal, an emphasis on the I, and welcome to long time no see. This is not a demo. On dark and stormy nights like tonight. That's the best you can do? I literally just started telling it. You're gonna scare Lucas. What are we talking about? Pay attention. It's not even a long story. <laughs> Classic Lucas. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Classic Lucas. Oh, come on, Milo. It's Halloween. Besides, how are we supposed to have a haunted house adventure without a chilling tale to set the mood? Ooh, chilling tale. Go on. Legend has it that on nights like tonight, when the moon hides and the clouds gather, this old haunted house comes alive. Which is a good place to have a vacation. Creaking floors echo with the whispers of long lost spirits, and the paintings on the walls watch your every move. That's terrifying. Most paintings do it now. Avery, you're going to give Lucas nightmares. <laughs> it's not Lucas that's going to be having nightmares. I don't like what you're implying. Once a group of adventurous teens dared to spend a night in this very <laughs> Shush. They were as fearless as we are tonight. Or so they believed. Uh -huh. As the moon cast eerie shadows, what? they heard whispers that seemed to come from the walls themselves. That's fine. What was that? One could decipher the words, just hushed voices that sent shivers down their spines. Undeterred, they followed the whispers to a hidden room deep within the house. Well, obviously you never follow the creepy whispering voices. <laughs> Touche, Myla. They were never seen again. <sighs> Vanished without a trace. What happened to them? No one knows. Some say they were consumed by the very darkness that lurked within this house. Others believe they crossed into a world between the living and the dead. Oh my, consider me thoroughly frightened. It's not even the spooky. Oh, those who ventured into the house after them claimed to hear their faint whispers echoing through the halls. Uh -huh. Pleas for help. Desperate cries that went unanswered. They're probably just like, hey, can you bring us some snacks? <laughs> Maybe you should go upstairs and bring them some. Ha <laughs> ha. I would go upstairs, but I don't want to right now. No other reason. <laughs> I'm not scared! The boy Dost protests too much, methinks. Dost isn't a real word, <laughs> idiot. Let's do something else. I'm loving this, Emma. And it's just dialogue. Hey, you guys want to build a fort? So you have somewhere to hide from the ghost? <laughs> Maybe it's to keep you out. <laughs> no Rude. girls allowed? Are you five years old? Well, girls have cuties, apparently. Never tell. Let Avery come. Fine, Avery can come if she helps build. Teamwork makes the dream work in Fort Milo. We're not calling it that. Nah. Well, first we'll need something to use as a main support, and then a roof of some kind. We'll call it Fort, Fort Mal. It represents all three of you. Later. Do you think we can find a trebuchet? I'm going to ignore the trebuchet <laughs> comment. Mm, I saw a coat rack in the foyer that should work nicely to hold that roof up. Cool. I'll bet there's a tablecloth in the dining room that we could use. Lucas, come give us a hand when you're ready. Nah, it's gonna leave. I've not played a point and click game. Let's go to nice! There's the coat rack. You think that'll work? Well, Probably. I guess there's one way to find out. Ugh. What is this thing made of? Mahogany? It's super heavy. Can you give me a hand? Lucas is strong. Thanks. I know I said it earlier, but it's really nice seeing you and Milo again. How long has it been now? Uh, I'm not sure it is. <laughs> Who are you counting? I'm really happy that we're able to just pick back up right where we left off, you know? <laughs> it's nice to see you guys don't think you're too cool for me now, just because we're at different schools. I was worried things were going to be awkward. Yeah, it's I mean, nice. I think Milo is still adjusting a bit, but that's just how he is. He builds things up in his head, and then when they don't meet his expectations, he gets all like... 
Oh, I skipped that. Like a sand balloon. <laughs> sure, I'll come around. I hope so. I love him, but sometimes he needs to just chill. He texted me like 15 times asking if I was still coming tonight. Stop right now. Yeah, he's very far. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's always kind of been that way. I appreciate his enthusiasm, but he's really got to ease up a little. Hmm. Just need some time to adjust will come down Just need some time. So. Until then, it's business as usual. Touche. Yeah, I also need to get him. <laughs> you doing okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Just kind of spooked, I think. Don't tell Avery. No. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. It's kind of obvious. I missed you guys. <laughs> it's been too long since we've hung out. Yeah, what, it's been like a year? Eleven months. Three days. Like, I know we're all kind of just doing our own thing now, but it's still nice to get back together like this. You've been counting the days? Yeah, I guess I've been a bit more aware of the passing of time lately. Do you ever just lie awake in bed for hours thinking about the infinite nature of the universe and how little control we really have over our own destinies? That sounds like a quote from something. Uh, you ever just lie awake in bed for hours? I really should. Yeah. Yeah? Sorry, I get this way a lot at the end of summer break when school starts back up. I think about how fast the breaks seem to go by, and then how fast everything seems to go by, and then existential crisis season kicks in. That applies to being an adult, too. Uh... Worried about the future? I mean, I'm always worried about the future. I'm not. Stick to the past. More fun. Not the past. Stick to the present. More fun. I think it just makes me think about, like, the path I'm on, and the path you and Avery are on. And I just get kind of nostalgic for when we used to be really close friends and hung out every day. Fewer responsibilities, just being hooligans. We're still hooligans? We're still your friends? We're still yeah, your friends. You're right. I'm just trying to manage my expectations. Alright, let's find this table clock before I really go crazy. There was something inside? I don't know what I clicked on. That's Coco Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one, Milo. Thanks, Milo. Wow, that was awkward. Dinner for one. Simmer gently for one hour, stab a knife directly into the table. Bon appetit. <laughs> oh, I love this. I don't even do the dishes in my own house. You lazy. Hey, Lucas. Look. <laughs> it's your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I hate nice. Lucas. Finally, some good news. What's the point of owning a tablecloth if you're just going to keep it locked up? My grandma keeps a bunch of plates in a wooden display cabinet in her living room, and she never uses them. Like, they're plates. That's not even a cool thing to display. <laughs> grandpa sounds like a cool. Yeah, she can't even kick with. Typical. Hmm, something behind the painting? I don't know grandmas who can kick with. I looked behind a painting, we were on that field trip to the art museum. Uh -huh. They called my parents and sent me home early. Oops. Uh, anything else to click on? The foyer, I don't think we've fully explored. I think that goes to the basement. I don't really want to think about why someone boarded it. Yeah, probably best. Uh, painting. Interesting decor. Oh. And do you think painter, just make it as creepy as possible? Probably. Living room, then it's upstairs of the house. Oh, you found something! Hats off to hey. you. Hey! No mind, just shush. No, no more jokes. Y'all are terrible. Uh, so we're in the living room. Was where we started. Ah. Oh, the fort looks great. Good job, guys. An architectural. What should I show you that? Architectural marvel. Stand as a testament to our Majesty. This huh? shall be our grandest achievement. Speak for yourself. Now it just needs a name. I dub thee Fort Milo. Absolutely not. I'm hearing a lot of no from you, but... Lucas, any suggestions? Mal. It literally means Milo, Avery, and Lucas. Fine. Come on, let's go inside. My kingdom awaits. 
You shut up. What man belongs to us all. You guys want to play a game? Yes! I'm so good at games. I'm not. Uh, sounds great. Called, I'm going to the afterlife. I'm not playing that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a fun word game. Oh, man. I'm terrible. Yeah, I'll start. I'm going to the afterlife. And I'm taking a marionette. Lucas, your turn. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm bringing. Uh, chicken. Nugget. Ah. Sorry, Lucas, you can't come. Milo. I choose life. Oh, just play. I'm dying, and I'm taking cold hard cash. Oh, sorry, you can't take that. Tell that to the Egyptians. Tell them yourself. Try again, you'll... Now it's my turn again. I'm dying, and I'm taking Milo with me. Oh, cool. But you still have to play. This game doesn't make any sense. Lucas, your turn Take chicken nuggets, it's lame. Okay, Aver. Nope, sorry. You still can't come. Try to figure out the pattern in the things I'm bringing. Milo, give it another shot. I'm going to the afterlife, and I'm bringing a backpack. Ooh, sorry. You can't... This is supposed to be fun. It's a puzzle. You just need to figure... My turn again. I'm going to the afterlife, and I'm taking... money. But I already said... That's not exact... This game is... Lucas, give it another... Sh um... Everything. Ooh, sorry, Lucas. Milo, try it... Can't we do something else? You've I'm game that she does suck. Going to the afterlife, and I'm bringing. Sorry, no. What is? So do you? No, I don't give up. All the things you bring have to start with the letter M. Oh. What? It doesn't actually matter. Okay, I have one. Mine's called "I'm going to the afterlife, and Avery can't come." I have a guess as to how this. I'm going to the afterlife, and I'm bringing. Oh, uh. You can come. Avery, your turn. I'm going. Nope, can't come. Are you seriously gonna get all cranky? I'm not cranky at all. This is... Oh, this is you. I haven't seen you guys in a year, and you've done nothing but gang up on me all night. What? We haven't been ganging up. We haven't been ganging up on you. Right? I was so excited to see you two again. I just wanted tonight to be like a... Well, it feels the same to me. The only thing different tonight is... And if you're just going to spend the whole time being shitty to your... Are we even still... No. What was that? A door? It, was a door. it sounded like it came from upstairs. All right, party's up. <laughs> oh, who's this... I'm so... Don't be a party pooper. Nobody else is in this house. We would have heard them come in. Oh, would you? Here's your basket. Exactly. Let's check it out. Lucas, lead the way. I mean, you very well shouldn't investigate me. Whatever. Uh, anything to cook on in here? No. Is there anything else in the fort? No, there's nothing in the fort. I mean, there is from this view. It's little, little snacks. Uh, to the foyer. Oh, yeah. Up the stairs. Stalling. The sound came from upstairs. Oh. There's probably something under there, fellas. see anything. It must have been up on the next floor. Guys, do we really want to know what's up there? We should go back downstairs. We can't leave now. Not when there's a mystery afoot. I feel like I'm in the there's Shinra the house in Final Fantasy VII. Kind of scraping. Scraping. There's a light on. Ooh. Yes, we can all see it. Or an electrical Let's check thing. It out. I knew there was more. I'm trying to stop me from getting my stuff. What does that have to do with I don't know, Did I can click on that. Over where Lucas is point, it looks like a Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> if there's not a ghost in there I don't think that's going Fine, I won't constantly click on the stairs anymore. A bunch of jerks. Um, uh, bedroom it is. A kids' room. 
Looks like nobody's been in here in ages. This kid really likes drawing the sky. The giant son of doom. Well, yeah, I'm not sure ghosts get out much. This is either super creepy or sort of cute. Uh, both. Yes, no. That was an interesting scream. Hi. Zoinks. Is that like okay. Zoinks? Oh, he's a little guy. Is that like an actual living, breathing ghost? Or an actual ghost, at least. Or neither of those things. You know what I mean. Hey, little buddy. Is this your room? It's cool. I like all your drawings. <laughs> no. Do you spend a lot of time outside? Guys can't go outside. Oh, he says he's not allowed to go out by himself. Do you want us to take you somewhere? He says he can't actually leave the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, then we'll just have to find a way to get him outside without leaving. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm sure we can think of something. It's just a puzzle we need to solve. He literally can't be inside and outside at the same time. He can't be inside something. Well, I'm going outside. to help our new friend. You can sit here and pout. That's not what I'm doing at all. I just don't understand. If we're not friends anymore, what does it matter what I do? Hey, that's not fair. I'm just... Not fair? Why not? It seemed fair five minutes ago when you... This is a tantrum! Look, now you scared him. Me? This is not my fault! I think you both scared I'm him. I'm going to go find him and make sure he's okay. Since someone here has to actually care about their friends. Oh my god, you're fine. Do whatever you want. And I'm going to go back to looking at the stairs. Yep, back to looking at the stairs. That's all I want to do. I just want to look at my little stairs. Dang it. Did you find Hello. something? I'm just seeing if I can find a way to get our little friend outside. Any luck? None yet. Honestly, I'm too in my own head right now. Any the fight? Obviously. Was he really always this annoying? Tonight seems a bit more intense than normal. That's part of his job. That's part I of his job. Guess. Being so weird and pick like he has this exact picture in his head of how tonight is supposed to go and how we're supposed to act and But we are his friends. Yeah. He keeps acting like all this stuff he does makes him a good friend. But he's not actually trying. He's on this whole thing about how we don't talk anymore. But all he does is send me clarinet memes all the time. That's a perfect friend. I don't even play clarinet anymore. No one sends me clarinet memes. Quit back in March. You mean clarinet memes are even a thing? Because we never have any real conversations. I didn't even know you still playing. I swear we talked about it, but it's it's like he thinks maintaining a friendship is just some quick little thing on a to-do list. He can check the box every couple days and then not think about it for a while, and then it'll be exactly how he left it when he decides he wants it again. He could just like texting you, maybe he doesn't want you to forget about him. Yeah. I get that, but it just starts to feel so clingy, like there's no real substance. You ever tried to have a real conversation with him? Not lately. I was better about responding last year, when we were still all texting, but I'd ask him questions or tell him something about me, and then sometimes he'd just disappear for days at a time. Then I'd just get some dumb screenshot of a tweet or something. It wasn't worth trying to hold a conversation. I think my letter's better face-to-face. -face. Yeah, but still. I figured tonight would be a nice way to reconnect, in person, actually talk to- but now he's just being all- <laughs> Has been, is, and always- <sighs> Thanks for listening, I just needed to vent, and the store isn't a great conversationalist. Thanks? I'm gonna keep working at this, come get me if- Stairs. What a grand stair- Really, there's nothing on the stairs. Abandon all hope, ye- Shut up, lady. Little bit. Are you on the phone? 
Voilà. What are you drawing? Hmm. Makes sense. Did that kind of freak you out? They just need some time to cool off. If they didn't actually care about each other, they wouldn't be less upset. They'll come around. We just need to give it a little time. I like the ghost. The ghost is cute. There you go. Oh, was there a thing there? Where is he? Leave it. You okay? Yeah, never better. This is just like every other Halloween. I can't find this ghost in. You hear think of again that's a little better. I feel like I'm losing my mind over here. That was rough upstairs. Tell me she's just being so I think it's because you said you weren't friends. That's not what I meant. I just I feel like she does But you Roger, Kyla, how you feeling? I don't know. I just want to feel like she wants... It felt like pulling teeth to get her to even agree. She didn't want to go? She didn't even respond. She just left me on red. I messaged her... A dozen? I think I've just been way more excited about seeing you guys again. We're very really excited to see you. I just need to think for a bit. And there's nothing else in here. Was that a thing in there? It was. I knew it. I'm a genius. Sometimes. Oh, makeups. It bugs me that the stairs have nothing on them. I'm annoyed by that. Um. Uh, you in it? What's this? This is supposed to be one big drawer. What happens to the missing pages? Uh, do you want help finding your drawings? Then let's go find your drawings. I already found most of them. Not seeing any thing else. Burned. I think that door doesn't even open. Little ghost! Oh, I'm so happy you found him again. I was kind of worried he was just going to vanish. Me too. I'm still looking for a way to get you outside, little guy. Actually, he may have a solution. Well, event. I'll do what I can to help. What do you need? We need to find his mission oh, door. There was one shoved in the corner over there. Here, take it. I'm sure there's a few others scattered around here, too. Let me know if I can do anything more to help. Hey, Lucas. Stop. Shut up, lady. All right, catch him. That's what he was. Oh, you found him. Yeah, he was on the floor. He went back to his room. Well, not back. Mm, back to the scene of the crime. I should have. He needs help finding his drawings. Oh, I think I saw a couple in here, actually. Here's Better be one. too. There are probably a couple more around here. Take a peek. Knock yourself out. Why would you drink the water, man? The chef. I'm cooking it. No, I'm good. Um... <laughs> Nothing else to click on there. As your friend, I. Somebody else? Seriously. Hey, Lucas. Stop telling the same joke, lady. Whoop your ass. Oh. You're sneaky. Uh, where haven't we found one? That is the question. Uh, everyone, quick, scan the screen and send your thoughts to my brain. Or something. Oh, it's there. Cheeky stuff. Just a bit. Okay, we need to look up here. And up here. And up here. 
Nada. Stairs. Oh, what is all this? That's a cool painting. This is incredible. What do you think it? I think it's some sort of clue. The placement on the ceiling seems kind of suspicious. This drawing may conceal more than meets the eye. Oh. Wow, it looks like it leads all the way to the roof. Oh, that's perfect. Outside without leaving the Hey. Thanks for sticking with me tonight. I know this whole thing is crazy, and we never thought we'd be spending the night helping a ghost. It's been nice having you around when I need a break. You mentioned feeling like things are changing, which you need. He's worried about the friendship drifting apart. Is that the worst thing in the world? People change, and friendships can change too. It doesn't mean we have to stop being friends. We'll never stop I haven't friends. been putting as much effort into my friendship with you guys this past year. I've been caught up in my own stuff, and I guess I didn't realize how much I was relying on you or my. I guess I've been doing I don't that. Think I realized how important this. Am I a bad? You put milk in my shoes that one time. Yeah, but <sighs> I just wish I could make him understand that change doesn't have to mean the end. We're still friends, even if things aren't exactly the way they used to be. Maybe you should tell him that. Yeah, I will. He's we're all assholes. I know it. Go find Milo and let's get this little guy some fresh air. Now we don't go up the stairs and get kidnapped and die. Or something dramatic. I don't know, death is a thing in this. By the people. Milo! Hey, what'd you find? There's a rooftop we can get onto. Hmm. Stairway to heaven. Cool. Nice. Hey, I'm sorry for being weird with you and Avery. This is not at all how I expected tonight to go. I just... I feel like we were apart for so long, and I wanted everything to just... But it feels different. People change. Yeah, I guess you're right. I know we're different people now or whatever, but what does that mean? Are we just going to hang out less and less until... We're going to stay friends. Yeah. I just feel like since we started going to different schools, I'm like texting you guys all the time and seeing how you're doing, but you're not really doing the same with me. None of my school friends message me casually. I don't get messaged by anyone casually. Uh, I text you back sometimes. It used to be so easy when we saw each other every day, but now I feel like there's this extra level of effort required to keep this going, and I'm the only one really working at it. You don't need to do all that. Do you still want to be friends? Of course. Oh, thanks. I think I'm just in my own head a bit. Do me a favor. Hey. Text me first once in a while. Just so I know you're thinking about me. <laughs> it was good like what you've just done. Alright. Let's <laughs> blow the Yeah, a lot of people rely on others to text them first, and then they just end up with no one texting, and then they just drift apart. It's the sad truth about friendship and reality. Stuff just happens. How did we not know this place had a roof? Every house has a roof. Yeah, yeah, but this one's got a... That sounds like it violates fire code. Hey, Avery, I'm sorry for being all shitty tonight. You have been very shitty. I just really miss our old friendship. I miss our new friendship. You're not giving it a chance. Yeah, you're right. I think I just have this magical idea of what our friendship should be. I'm holding you both to some crazy standard instead of just being your friend. No. Did you know I quit clarinet? What? That was like your whole thing! Yeah, I played for like 10 years, but it got to be too much. Practices, recitals, band class, kind of... I had no idea. I'm sorry. Mm. I'll probably play again eventually. I just need a break. 
How did we never talk about... We never really talk about anything. Huh. Yeah, now that you mention it, I can't even remember the last time we talked about our lives or how we're doing. I'm sorry for not doing that more. And I'm sorry for not being as good at keeping up with you. Both of you. You shouldn't have to text me 15 times before I respond. 17. I recounted. All right, point taken. We won't let another year go by before we hang out. Even if we do, it'll be okay. <laughs> That's the... I think it's almost sunrise. Perfect timing. Do you want... This was much lighter than I assume. That was... That was actually beautiful. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And it was waiting for me to collect him. I don't know there's like other endings if you can just make it so that they don't go back together or whatever, but I like the ending I got. It was all just nice, honest answers. Yeah. And yet. Hmm. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I shall see you in my next one. So until then, fairly well.